Okay, the meteor. Uh, all right. Sorry, I got the source confused for a moment. So this uh, erudite is uh, six percent damage sword, ten percent attack, and it's a fifty percent chance of pain, blinding, incineration, and precise hit. That's nice. That's a pretty good sword. You like it. Also, one nudist, another, oh, uh, sorry. Nudist is gone, so that's reasons for me to edit out footage. Though I have a feeling I may just leave that cutscene in. In which case, uh, there's no reason for me not to leave the rest in. Also, something's happening here. I don't like this. I don't like this either. Berenger? I would trade Kier Moran's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. I don't intend to judge you. Enough, traitor. I don't hear remorse. All I hear is self-pity. You hate what the witches did to you. All right. But but you join a group that subjects children to experiments with mutagens. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Sorry. <laughs> Sneezing. One sec. I don't know. I mean, it's like, I, I was tempted saying, I don't intend to judge you. But... The second option is also very tempting, and it's also part of his oath, you know, help the weak, help the defend the helpless. Enough, traitor. I don't hear remorse. All I hear is self-pity. You hate what the witches did to you? All right. But you joined a group that subjects children to experiments with mutagens. Get out of my sight. Wait, have they actually experimented on kids? I don't remember that. I remember them capture, capturing Alvin for reasons. Because um, he's a powerful source. But do they actually experiment on kids? I know they've experimented on animals. As in non-human animals. Like dogs or whatever. For mutagens. But remember the uh, on, in the outskirts that beast we fought. I know that, but children? Oh wait, they captured the kids, remember in the outskirts? Presumably for the mutagens. So... I'm actually very torn. I kind of want him to almost to say his thing again because I'm not sure if I did hear remorse. Did I hear any of that? I know I'm putting probably putting too much weight into it, but I just want, you know, if I play through this, I want to be happy with the ending I get. You know, it's like, you know, I should have done, you know. I want to make sure I'm happy with the choice I make here. Because while I could play it again, I don't typically replay games very often. And I probably won't, won't be doing it on camera, considering, the, you know, yeah, the amount of work that goes into this.
I don't intend to judge you, or enough traitor, I don't hear remorse. I'm thinking here, it's just a case of, like... It's actually a very hard choice. Because it's a case of... You know... I want to, you know, kill Azar Javed because, you know, he killed, you know, the young witcher guy and he stole mutagens. He's the reason why Azar knew about the place. And, you know, you know, so he bears some responsibility for that. And it's not, we don't necessarily know if he even knows about the group, you know, subjecting children to experiments. Plus, he would like to counter about what will, what would the witchers do? You know, them, themselves, you know, subjecting kids to mutagens and stimulants. So... I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I can understand. In a way, I, honestly, I think I, could, I can. He doesn't like the witchers. You know where else to turn, but... The, basically, witchers have taken away the only thing he really wants. And then, as our, and he couldn't... It's not like he could turn to the witchers after everything he'd done. He, he was... The, his back up was up against the wall. And while it's not nice choices, you know, it's, it's that or die. And all that, so, you know. I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. They gave me a journal entry. <laughs> Interesting. What could a full moon? Dagon Sap? I have a job I need to finish. Come with me if you like. I have a job I need to finish. Come with me if you like. Okay. He, he went his own way, I'll, I doubt we'll meet again. And he's like, oh, I've got a job to finish. Want me you to do it? <laughs> oh yeah, let's read his letter. Dagon Sap. Um, con notes contain for a f uh, the formula for a potion made with the secretions of little Dagon. How would he know how to make a potion? Uh, you know, considering you have to kill a god to do it. Maybe it resurrects. Or maybe it's tr not truly a god and merely worshipped as such. And there's, you know, it's actually its own species of thing. It's just very elusive. As, and you know, as such, maybe elusive and maybe powerful. Which would reduce the amount of killing, but still would, you know, there would be some deaths, so you can make a potion from. Or maybe it's just game mechanics. Strength upgrade. It's 
Completions of the legendary Dagon. Um, welcome to full moon. It increases maximum vitality. Strike. It causes damage to, uh, to assailants who land blows. The retribution aura. And vampire oil. Increases damage caused to vampires. And actually that's the book of the thunderbolt. It says full moon. Then it says book of the thunderbolt. That's a bit of a typo. But then in the journal it says full moon. Ooh. I have a job I need to finish. I was a mistake. If you like. Berengar's letter, uh, a piece covered with a nervous, irregular handwriting. One second. He yeah, evoked in the back. Berengar's letter. I always believed the Witchers had stripped me of my ability to communicate with humans. Now I know this to be untrue. Whatever the reasons, I cannot talk to people, so I write this letter instead. Herein, I admit, I am a coward. I fear pain, incapacitation, and death. I was afraid I'd care more pain. Afraid when I find uh, when I fall monsters, and finally, I feared the professor and Azar Javed, especially the latter. He supervises the Salamander's scientific project, creating deadly creatures from black magic and mutagens. He's a powerful mage. If my plan works. Be dead mage and the witcher secrets will be safe. In spite of everything, I am content her plans crossed as they set off now for Fuzima, Berengar. I have a job I need to finish. Come with me if you like. Interesting. Let's read Bar the journal entry on Berengar because sometimes the journal entries give us information we have not actually gotten ourselves. I had a serious conversation with Berengar, which left me with a, serious, uh, with a better understanding of his experiences and motivations. Berengar seemed moved and decided to seek peace elsewhere, far away, far away from trouble. Berengar wrote a letter in which he admitted that he was a coward, that he collaborated with Salamander, and that he betrayed Kaer Morhain. I was moved by a meeting. Berengar set off to uh, Vizima to catch Azur Javed in a hidden Salamander laboratory. There kind of gave us information that we wouldn't have normally gotten. As he mentioned about his plan and him having a job to finish and that we should come with him. But it never mentioned the Salamandra base part. Hopefully these issues like lore you only get from seeing the journal rather than actually hearing a character say it or whatever. So stop in the second one. I didn't notice it in the second one myself. But then again, I didn't notice this the first time around anyway. Like in the first game when I played it then. Oh. Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. <laughs> White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No, no units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel. Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that the Zima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Uh-huh. I'm not sure how much worse words are the word of someone who immediately tries to threaten you. Oh. Can't get the giant centipede reward anymore. I'm just kind of generic order, guys. Is that trying to. Is the game accidentally telling me that one of the characters has died? 
because it's never actually given me that mission that message before even when I've actually gone to, into a new act I can no longer get to that NPC hmm. I think of some you know acts from the other ten I negotiated a peace between the humans and the Vodianoi. I also defeated Dagon mm -hmm. nothing to say again mm -hmm. care to try a short magic word I know you can do it mm -hmm. Come now, before I decide you're a grumpy boob and a dimwit. Hmm. Grumpy boob. Dimwit. Because I don't feel the need to talk incessantly. I may not be the most talkative, but a grumpy boob and a dimwit? That's harsh. Well, you're welcome anyway. <laughs> it's almost as if Geralt has a sense of humor. <laughs> Bit, bit of an arse, but an arshish sense, arshish sense of humor. Jesus, Gary. I'm trying to now look over at the water nymph, and if she's not there, I won't have to censor the bar, the censor the screen. Ah, huh? yeah. it's not there. Who wants to bet the NPC who gives the sentry reward is dead? Like seriously, it's bizarre that it tells me I've lost my chance at a reward for it. Also, I wonder what exactly triggers the Skoatel to take the prisoners on the order to show up. Is it wrapping up with Berengar? Is it defeating Dagon? Then again, I think they both trigger each other. Though I could see not, you know, one not triggering, say if you don't talk to Berengar enough. I could see, you know, stuff not triggering. I kind of kept an oat, I have an oat to keep, but I've already forgot the exact details of said oat. Um, it's, you know, like defend the weak and as White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry, and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. About that. We foiled the robbery at Viv That's because I, you know, moved towards him to talk to him, and he moved towards me, so it triggered twice. But about the massacre in the outskirts, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and find a, the best solution possible. Gosh, I don't know. Geralt? I was wondering where you were. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. Alright, let's... I'll have a talk with him. Oh, they're over here. 
Try not to sneeze. time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. The humans have them up against the wall. They see no other way. The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. Changed. They cannot win, but they still fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at a halting evolution. They've lost their lost, lost, lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. thing is, they, they aren't fighting for their freedom, they're fighting for more than that. They want th their dominance back, you know? They were the in charge of this continent before. You know, the humans upset, threw them off, you know, threw them off balance and they put, you know, put themselves in charge. And... I cut the footage back in. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, I probably did ages ago. They want to drive humans back to the ocean, because they came from some far off continent. Though some elves claim they actually came from a different world. You know, it's the confluence of spirits, then, or whatever it's called. They're they're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. The humans have them up against the wall, and they see no other way. The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but they still fight. It's a sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. They lost their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against the wall, and they see no other way. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Toruvio. Stay here. It's just the best option I could think of, really. Geralt, take me with Patience, Elvin. It's all right. Oh, that was good timing. Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. She already killed multiple peasants? No wonder I can't get the quest reward. I think she's already killed the quest giver. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Fuck. Where the fuck's down the line? I think he went over this way. I could probably get to him from the other way, but you know, whatever.
Why is Dandelion? I mentioned the mayor's house, but I didn't see him. One second. Here, yeah, folks, and I'm back. I don't know where he is. Sleep Alvin go? Yes. At least let Alvin go. No. Okay. Oh, Dandelion! Well, you're fucking obvious. Gerald? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other. And us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new orders were grateful for the order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Nothing better have happened. Geralt, what now? Oh, okay. Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin. But if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Yeah, fuck. Let's get... Let's bail the hell out, eh? Hey, folks. This is um, post commentary. Well, not post commentary. I'm re recording this. I'm, I'm commentating at the same time as I'm playing. I shouldn't call it a post. But this is actually recorded at a later stage in the first part of this episode. This is like not recorded at the same time or anything. I wasn't happy with the choice I made. I decided to help the Knights. Because I figured, oh, I don't want the civilians to die, but I want to fi finish quests. Actually, when I was, you know, killing Dagon again and all that, because I hadn't saved afterwards, uh, directly after. I saved after I helped the knights, but not directly after Dagon. Um, I ended up discovering wyverns, so, and uh, killing them and finding some loot. So, you know, this girl here isn't the exact same as, you know, that one, but as you know, the one at the start of the episode, just purely his a slight bit more XP and slight bit more loot. But that's it. Um, and in this case, like basically, I decided to help Knights. Not happy with that decision. I'm gonna go and just you know bail the fuck out. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. Beyond the team with the wyverns, everyone else is the same. Didn't do anything. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. It's funny, like, like a moment ago she was fine with, she was keeping him hostage, but now she's like, ah, take him. Stealthy ass guys in plate. Like, how distracting is a guy and a kid walking off? I know it's Geralt, but all guards focus on him. It's a trap! They're attacking! No! 
Wait, what? Oh fuck, 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 run, run. It's actually very tempting just to start shooting fire at everyone. It just, you know, everyone is trying to kill me there. Order, elves. It's just so many. I think of all the loot I can get and the XP. It's fucking beautiful. Well, I do have the quest done to get the wyvern hide. And I did actually discover Julian having a few extra books. They're in his clothes, and I don't think I can gain access to Julian. I think the only way to do so would be wait for a fight to be over, and then, you know, try and sprint into one of the houses. But I'm not sure if that would really work, so I'm just going to leave. It does mean leaving a quest undone, but say la vie. And I know a few other quests are undone, but... Meh. Oh well. Oh, one other thing. I, d I did try to record this before, my head's a little scattered, more so than I realized. I recorded like a couple hours after that point, the last time I got to record. And I'm not happy with just throwing away footage. I've done so before, and I really don't like it. So what I'm going to do is, after this series is done, I'm going to re I'm going to release the footage. You know, just some uh, some extra stuff. Maybe as just one huge block, or in a few episodes, I'll I'll release them. And um, I just have to jump uh, hop into the mine in here. Technically, I don't have to, but there's a benefit to doing so. With the crit, um, the I'll be releasing. Just to give you, like, say, different responses, like, you'll see what happens else at the fight there. You'll happen, like, Vizima, when we go back there, things will be different there. You know, you'll get to see that. I would, wouldn't would mind doing a, say, three new uh, playthroughs of this at some stage. One for the Order, one for the Skoetel, and a Witcher, as it's called. Let's play. 60% bleeding, not bad. Um, I don't have to get that there. This quest uh, mainly takes up Act 5. You learn about it here, and you can actually learn about it again in Act 5 if you didn't. But, um, if you didn't learn about it here. But I think that's the only bit you can get here. And to be honest, I'm not even sure it's the right bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll be releasing them at some stage, eventually. Um, it'll give you a different perspective. Oh yeah, now here's what I was saying. And I wouldn't mind doing like the that at some stage, like the three different playthroughs, three different versions. But it'll be sometime down the line. I, uh, I just don't think I'll be interested. Oh. Sorry, for a moment I was wondering, like, it seems like the graphical glitches almost don't act up if I'm just moving the camera. It's just when it's moving, I think. I know. And it's not like a combination. I don't know. I'll be releasing them at some stage. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I keep losing my train of thought and defaulting back to saying that I'll be releasing the footage at some stage. But I have no problem doing that, that, doing that you know. Going to a pure order, pure neutral, pure sky tell, and doing it like that. But let's play, you know, like I wouldn't be just making those decisions, you know, and that's showing only that. I'll be showing it all. Obviously, I'll be able to do it much quicker than I will be here because I this is a semi blind let's play. I have played it before, but only to like once you get into Vizima and a little further. You know, I didn't get very far in the game. Um, and while I have spoiled bits of it for myself online, by seeing the bits on the wiki, the the, the bits of spoiled are limited. My mind is actually trying to put some things together now, so. Yeah. I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, the Witcher 2 is in better state. Like, I have been spoiled that on myself, thankfully. Also, I did get to record some footage from her, um, which will stick on to the end of the episode. She actually, uh, 
if you talk to her after she talks to you over there, she actually uh, tells her tells you a bit more about herself. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well. How did it go? Um, see that, um, like, flower? You, you know the quiver she has? And you know the metal, like, circle thing? The brooch of so, some sort? Really like it. I have to say. Nice, nice design. I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. Oh, she took that better than I thought. I was on my way. <coughs> um, I'm going to head back over to the aisle. I never actually took the treasure uh, in the chest by the wyverns. Um, for whatever reason, I was just going to leave it till I came back. Yes? I thought the Order only accepted the devout. I'm a mercenary, not a monk. I work for anyone willing to pay for non-human heads. Even other non-humans? You have to draw the line somewhere. During the war, my unit provided cover for retreating civilians. The Scoia'tael were the vanguard of the Nilfgaardian army. I think I know how this ends. Do you? They slaughtered my whole unit. Merciful, given what they did to me. Ever been tortured, Witcher? War is cruel. It warps us all, not just elves. Pacifist crap. Fall in, dogs! Fall in, dogs! Woof, woof. <laughs> 